Welcome everyone. It has been a long time since my last video. So just a small recap. In the previous part we have seen about the energy minimization steps. In this part we are going to see how to do the NBT equilibration. So this video will have many sections. The so first we are going to see how to download the nbt.mdp file in the official website. Next restraining the ligand using the index group. Then create a position restraint file. Then how to include the position restraint file in the topol.top file. Then creating and managing the index groups using the make mdx prompt. Then setting the thermostats or temperature coupling groups in nbt.mdp file. Then at last the usual grow mdp commands and md run commands. So we need the nbt.mdp file for the nbt equilibration. So go to Romax tutorial step 6 equilibration then scroll down at the bottom then you will find this mdp file which is mbt equilibration mdp file so download this file and place it in the working folder so press the control s to save and this is the folder that we are working on desktop desktop md this is the folder that we are working on desktop slash md so just to save this file So it is saved in the folder. This is the nbt.mdp file. So next we are going to see how to restrain the ligand using the index group. So for that open the terminal in the current folder. To restrain the ligand first create an index group that contain only non-hydrogen atoms of the ligand because we are going to restrain only the non-hydrogen atoms of the ligand for this give this command gmx make mdx dash f ligand dot grow give the input file of the ligand that is the ligand dot grow dash o give the output file of the index i have given index underscore ligand dot mdx so this is the output file we give enter to select the non-hydrogen atoms give zero for system and uh, exclamation mark is for not and a is for uh, atoms h is for hydrogen atoms then star is for all hydrogen atoms that is all the hydrogen atoms except all the hydrogen atoms and system so this will create a group Okay, so give enter. The group is created with the 10 atoms. See the previous groups, system groups. System group means this contain all the atoms, that is 22 atoms. Other, it also has 22 atoms. And the ligand, this also has 22 atoms. And the group without hydrogen atoms, which has 10 atoms. So this is the make MDX prompt. To get out of this prompt, press Q, Q for quit, and press enter. So that's all. Now a new file is created. You can see. Index ligand.ndx. You can see in this file. There is four groups. This is the group that we have created just now. With the 10 atoms. All the other groups will have 22 atoms. As we have seen earlier. Okay. That's all. Next we are going to see how to create the position restraint file. To create the position restraint file, give this command gmx gen register dash f and the input file that is ligand.grow file dash n and the index file that we have created in the previous command and dash o output file that is the posre underscore ligand dot itp. This is the position restraint itp file. Okay, give enter. And it will ask you to which group I have to restrain. Select the group number 3 for restraining. So give 3. Now your position restraint file is created with the group number 3. Okay. This is the position restraint file. You can see this file. This file has 10 atoms of the ligand. Okay. 
these 10 atoms will be restrained during the equilibration and that's all we have created a position restraint file for the ligand next we are going to include the position restraint.itt file in the topol.top file that is next to the ligand topology entry so open the topology.top file and scroll down you will find you will find the ligand topology entry below the ligand topology entry below the ligand topology entry give these lines and save the topol.top file okay give the control s for saving the topol.top file and that's all now we have included the position restraint itp file in the topol.top file next we are going to see how to create and manage the index groups okay run this command gmx make ndx dash f give the input file that is the em.grow file that is energy minimizer grow file and dash o this is the output index file okay give enter and first it will show the default groups these are the default groups that is zero is for system okay up to 17 we have uh, different types of groups here we shall create custom groups for the purpose of temperature coupling and we need a group containing protein ligand so enter 1 and 13 1 is for protein and 13 is for our ligand that is jz4 so give the number 1 so give the number 1 and 13 this will create a group containing protein and ligand so note down the group name okay this is the name of the group protein ligand group this is a single group okay next we need a group containing water and ions in the single group you see in the list of default groups this is the list of default groups there there are no group for water and ions together we have a group for water and we have a group for chloride ions but we do not have the groups in combined together okay now we need to make a group of water and ions so give the number 15 and 14 okay 15 and 14 give enter now it will create a group which contain only water and ions that is the chloride ions okay this is the number of atoms water and chloride ion combined this is the number of atoms of uh, protein and ligand together now we have created the two groups one is for protein ligand and water ions in the temperature coupling we are going to couple these two groups okay so note down the name of the groups so we need to get out of this uh, make and x form so give q for quitting and press enter so that's all just to you we can see the index dot ndx file this is the index dot ndx file when we open the index dot ndx file we just we can see the newly created groups okay this is the newly created group protein underscore jz4 and this is also a newly created group water underscore cla so the two groups are present in the index dot index file so we are good to go so close this file now we have confirmed that the two new groups are present in the index dot index file to set the temperature coupling between the two groups that we have created now open the nvt.mdp file this is the nvt.mdp file so title we have protein in and complex and we now need to give uh, 50,000 okay. since this is the demo then we have temperature coupling groups that is tc groups here in this we have to provide the two groups okay first group is protein j support so we no need to change second group we need to change water underscore clda okay. 
because this is a group that we have created now so two coupling groups okay we have so two coupling groups and we have the two values uh, and we have tau values and uh, reference t values one is for each group reference temperature one for each group in kelvin that's all we have uh, coupled the two groups in the nvt.mdp file save this file and close this now we have to run the now just run the grow mpp command and mdrun command so give this command gmx grow mpp dash f that is the input mdp file nvt.mdp dash c that is the em.grow file and dash r that is em.grow file and dash p to hold dot of file dash n so this is the index group that we have created in the previous step okay and dash o nvt.tpr this is the binary file in the nvt.mdp file we have the temperature coupling information and in the index.ndx we have the actual groups present okay give enter Now the binary file is created. You can just see nvt.tpr is here. Okay. Now give this command gmx mdrun dash v that is for verbose under dash defnm that is the default name. The default name will be nvt. All the files created using this command will have the default name of nvt. Okay. So give the enter. It is showing lysozyme in water because in the topol.top file the name we have given is lysozyme in water. Now the gmx mdrun command is now completed. Okay. So that's all. Now the equilibration is completed. That is NVT equilibration is now completed. In the previous part we have seen uh, how to do the energy minimization. So after doing the energy minimization, we have to create the potential energy graph and we have to see the potential energies. Okay. Now we have done the NVT equilibration. So now we have to see the temperature graph. So in the next video, we will see how to create the potential energy graph for the energy minimization and the temperature graph for the NVT equilibration. Now we have completed the equilibration step successfully. Now we can see the output points that is the nvt.xtc this is the trajectory file after the nvt equilibration is completed and this is the nvt.log file and this is the nvt.grow file this is the structure file after the nvt equilibration is completed and this is the edr file this file we are going to use for the graph generation and this is the checkpoint file in the next video we are going to do the NPT equilibration for doing the NPT equilibration we need to have this checkpoint file so that's all thank you for watching if you like this video give a like and subscribe to the channel share and like the video also see you in the next video